My car looks crazy. I also took this out. So it's time to fix the radiator right now. We got the car started taking apart. We got the new radiator. I don't know where it is. It's in the garage. New radiator is right there. And um, yeah, we're getting to work right now. We already got the coolant leaking out the bottom right here. What the fuck? Yeah, we're getting some business done. That hose is off. This is gonna suck. That's all I'm saying. We got Timmy under here right now. Guys, come look at this. Let's see it. What you got? So they got? They got this to hold up your radiator, right? Uh huh. But it ain't doing nothing if it's coming out of the bushing. It's already oh, done. We don't have to take this off at all. Well, that's, that's at least that's good for us. But yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Don't mind this big ass jacket on me. <laughs> but or don't mind this big ass jacket on me. Yeah. Little... This is what's going down. We look like bums right now because we're fixing we're fixing the whip. Hey, Timmy's getting rain. Though. Timmy's fixing the whip. He's getting yeah. He's getting he's getting cool in rain. All right. But we're getting it done, so yeah. If you want to order a post notification out like the person that's on the screen right there, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button, hit the bell and like subscribe button, go to the comments down below, let me know if you guys turn your post notification. You can order a post notification out like the person that was just up on the screen. And um yeah, we got DJ's car here as well. You know the vibes. JLT performance intake into whip and more coming soon. Uh possibly have a throttle body and intake manifold coming, so that should be fun. And then we're gonna go from there, so let's get it. Other than that, I'm gonna pick up the camera once we have this radiator out. All right, so we ran into some issues and we had to take the intake off and now the front bumper's about to come off right now, so. We doing that? Okay. Damn, this is about to be crazy. Oh my God. Where you wanna put it? Yeah, my car looks mad ugly with no front bumper, yo. What is this? Right Damn, that's crazy, please don't drop that. It's getting wrapped anyways. Yeah, but the paint is not cheap. <laughs> so where's it leaking from, though? Right here. Is, that's where it's leaking from? Yeah. Yo, you don't have a uh, you, you know you don't have a This thing is right? beat down. You have a Chrysler? Oh, you got a Chrysler? Nice. Yo, I don't know why my headlight doesn't has this. Why is it not, like, full through? I should have a hole right there. Hmm? I don't know. All right. So I think I got some explaining to do. It is now... When do we do this? I think we did this on Sunday. It's now three days later. It's Wednesday right now. And um, my car still has not been driven not one time. We had a bunch of problems with the car. So basically, I went and bought a radiator at AutoZone, right? And this this is going to I don't sound stupid. So I went and bought a radiator at AutoZone. And I had one coming in that I ordered. And both of them were the wrong fit. So I took the whole car apart with Timmy and DJ. We took everything apart. Laid everything out, went to take the radiator out, went to put in the new one, and the new one was the wrong one. So I went back to AutoZone, I was like, yeah, you guys gave me the wrong radiator. They're like, no, we didn't, that's the right one. But my car actually takes the heavy duty one. So yeah, I got finessed out of that whole play. And then I actually ended up hitting up cold case radiators. And I'll put their, their links all in the description. Their Instagram's on the screen right here if you guys do want to check them out. But they blessed me with an all aluminum radiator, so. We're about to throw this bad boy on today and this is actually going to help with any future mods that we have because I also have a throttle body on the way so any future mods that we have that is going to keep my car super cool and if you guys do need one it's 10 times better than any other plastic radiator this thing will not leak go down below hit them up and um yeah I promise you you won't regret it but let's go get this thing door down we're going back to Timmy's house right now I'll show you guys the car and um cool was literally leaking everywhere when we put it back together it was overheating it was kind of crazy so let's go we're going back all right, so we got the radiator loaded up in the supercar. I was not lying to you when I told you guys I couldn't drive my car at all. This is what I'm whipping right now. Hold up. We in the Volkswagen the drop top. This is actually my girl's car, but this is the because my car is done up. But it's time to go fix it. So we're going to Timmy's house now, and things are about to get crazy because we're going to make this happen right now. But it was kind of good that we took it apart the first time because now we know how to do it, and it's going to be super, super quick. But... Let's head out now. All right, so here you go. We just pulled up Timmy's house right now, and um, under the car is literally soaked. This is all coolant. There's literally coolant all over the place, but I gotta move the car up right now. 
it'll probably overheat, so you guys might be able to see it actually, but let's see. We just gotta get it moved up. Get a little cold start. Okay. See, it sounds bad. It sounds like super unhealthy. Actually, it's not gonna overheat, I'm bugging. As you can see, it's a little leaking out right now as we speak. That's crazy. But we're about to open this bad boy up and see what it looks like. So, Ooh. this? Hell yeah! Right here, on the box. Yeah, it is right. Hell yeah. Yo, this thing looks way better. Shout out to Cold Case, guys. They hooked it up big time. Damn. But, time to get to business. The front bumper's about to come off. Three, two, one. And we're done. The front bumper's off. Now it's time to take out this radiator. It's leaking from literally right down here, which is kind of crazy. But the new one is about to fix all our problems, so let's get it. My car looks crazy. I also took this out. There was like a little plastic piece here. I took this out, so it goes straight into the intake right there. So more airflow, fire. But look how dirty my engine is. I gotta go power wash this after this. And there's literally no coolant in here at all. So yeah, we got some work to do for sure. But all this stuff just has to come out and then taking that off and we're good to go. So engine's apart right now. We leaked out as much of the coolant as we could. And um, yeah, we're about to throw the fans on the new one and go from there. So let's see. All right, fans on, tubes on, hose, whatever you want to call it. And we're ready to go. Let's get this thing back on the car. All right. Everything's on. We just added some coolant. All right, the other coolant's gone. <laughs> What's that? All right, we're gonna first start up for the car right now. Let's see. This thing is eating coolant right now, though. I'll tell you that. It's got a lot to fill up. Start it up. Let's see, load up the performance pack and see. If this thing overheats or not. My check engine light's on, I gotta get that shut off too now. Cause we pulled the, well last time we did it, we pulled out the um, the freaking thermometer thingy and now I got a check engine light. But it's all right. Let's get the performance piece loaded. The thing hasn't even went up at all. I don't think the thermometer's working to be honest. Let's see. I can't tell if the thermometer's working. Oh yeah it is, 91. We're looking good. This thing's gonna keep the car super cool, I know that for a fact. So it should probably be a little bit lower than usual, obviously not 91 Fahrenheit, but it's gonna be a little bit lower than usual because this radiator is bigger and built for, like, built engines too, so. Let's see what happens here though, it's at 93 right now. Looking good, he just added in some more coolant. All right, it's getting a little bit hot as of right now. We're about to put this little vacuum kind of thingy in just to hold it so it doesn't overflow, but it's not overheating how it was. Like guys, when I tell you it was literally at the H, it was at like 290, almost 300 degrees at one point. Like I thought the car was gonna literally explode. So we're holding a pretty steady temperature right now, which is good, but we're gonna see what goes down here. Bumper is back on. The job's finally done. I don't know how Tim made it happen. 201 to 199. 201 to 199, perfect. The heat's bouncing back and forth. Temperature's on, the heat's working again. Huge shout out to Cold Case Radiators for hooking it up with this because they really came through. All the links will be in the description, guys. Huge shout out to them. Make sure you go check them out. But yeah, bumper's back on. Intake is right there. Everything's in there. Radiator's good. And yeah, we're good to go. We had to make a few little adjustments, but everything came out perfect, so we're good. All right, we need gas, but we're about to first test drive right now. Oh, he breaks up. I'm gonna take this thing around the block, make sure we're good. It's at 212. We'll hit that. Let's see. Damn, my car feels so weird. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. Chilling at 212. Perfect. Everything's good. Yeah. Bugging out. Dude, that was dope. That was sick. <laughs>